हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी वीडियो लेक्चर टेन ऑफ द चैप्टर मूविंग चार्जेस एंड मैग्नेटिज्म टुडे वी शैल स्टडी द कॉन्सेप्ट टॉर्क ऑन अ रेक्टेंगुलर करंट लूप इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ एक्सटर्नल यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लेट अस प्रोसीड अहेड एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इट सो लेट अस ट्राई टू कंसिडर अ रेक्टेंगुलर लूप ए बी सी डी carrying steady current i placed in an external magnetic field b we are having magnetic field b due to north pole and south pole the magnetic field is from north pole to south pole here you can see the direction which is shown here and we are having a rectangular loop a b c d here ए बी एंड सी डी आर हैविंग लेंथ बी एंड बी सी एंड डी ए आर हैविंग लेंथ ए नाउ प्रोसीडिंग अहेड वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट वेरी नाइसली इफ यू ट्राई टू यूटिलाइज दिस डाइग्राम बट इट मेक्स सो मच नंबर ऑफ कॉम्प्लिकेशन टू this diagram is given in the ncert but we are trying to take a simpler one to understand the concept very smartly let us try to proceed and try to take a rectangular loop a b c and d similar to this and let us have current also in similar manner here we have current direction as similar to this itself and let us try to take north and south pole and a magnetic field starts from north pole and ends at south pole and it is uniform magnetic field proceeding ahead let us try to keep the things very simple just by keeping only a single magnetic field line to make the things very simple since this is a three dimensional figure you need to be keenly observing everything in this let us proceed ahead and uh, try to find out the force on every segment of the loop here since this loop is placed in the uniform magnetic field and it's carrying current from every segment of this loop will experience force on it let us try to divide this whole rectangular loop into seg four segments that is ab bc cd da and we shall study them in that appropriate manner let us try to start the force on the conductor from segment bc here to find that let us try to take bc first bc direction is shown here and the magnetic field direction is along the side right so this is the length and this is a magnetic field here from our previous concept we know that this is l and this is b we need to do is l cross b to get the direction of force and uh, that direction of force can be taken here in in this manner that is a cross b and we come out with a direction this direction is downwards so we have the direction here downwards similarly if we try to take the force on da and uh, to get that let us first of all take da length so da is here and uh, the magnetic field will be along this direction here now we need to do is da crossed towards b once we cross this towards b we get the direction of force so that will be f da is equal to i a cross b crossing this towards b we are taking a reason is we have said that the length of da will be equal to a and bc will be equal to a so here the force will be acting upwards right since we see that both the forces are equal and they are opposite 
and also they are acting along the axis of the loop you can see that there is an axis here and they are acting along the axis of the loop that's why they cancel out each other and they do not produce any effect that is they do not produce any rotational effect so they cancel out each other so let us proceed ahead so here let us take the diagram which is provided in the NCRT and now let us try to find the force on AB so here we have AB it's AB direction and uh, we know magnetic field is along the side so if we try to write FAB that will come out to be BIB sin 90 in fact we are writing it in vector notations we get I B cross B and here B and B small b and capital B are perpendicular that's why we have written sin 90 degree it means this line here AB is perpendicular to the magnetic field that's why you got 90 we have substituted here and uh, since B is along this direction and capital B magnetic field is along this direction we can use our cross product rule to get the direction of force so curling AB this one towards this direction we get magnetic force on AB to be downwards yes similarly let us proceed for the CD element here so for CD segment we have CD along this direction magnetic field is here this time if we try to find the force direction it will be acting upwards right so here we see magnitude wise both the forces are equal if AB is equal to FCD is equal to BIB now we see that both the forces are equal and opposite but they do not cancel each other the reason is they are not not collinear now to understand what why they are not collinear let us try to have a different view so this view will be trying to see it from the front side if you see it from here for us AD element AD segment will be visible whereas BC will not be visible that means we are trying to be in the plane of the rectangular loop and trying to have a look at it so that means we are trying to see it here in this manner this is the magnetic field and we are trying to see it along this direction so we are able to see only AD segment whereas the other one on the other side we are not able to see it reason is we are in the plane of the rectangular loop and this is the magnetic field here the force that is FAB is in the downward direction and FCD is in the upward direction and we can see both of them are equal and opposite but they are not collinear that means they are not acting on the same line and that means they are not having the same line of action so that's why they produce a couple and this constitutes a torque and this actually causes the rotating effect on the current loop let us proceed ahead and try to study the magnitude of torque on the loop that's what is the intention here to finally find proceeding ahead we know torque can be given as force into perpendicular arm to get that let us try to take this diagram here we are trying to see the loop from uh, trying by being in the plane of the uh, loop and uh, here we see the force AB here is the force CD and this is the direction of magnetic field and we are trying to take theta here so theta what is theta theta is the angle between magnetic field and normal to the loop so if there is a normal to the loop 
so this is the normal to the loop which is shown here with the letter m so this is normal to the loop and between that and the magnetic field the angle is theta so utilizing this we shall write the torque formula so torque will be equal to fab into a by 2 sin theta plus fcd into a by 2 sin theta now here f is the force right and perpendicular arm is a by 2 sin theta we already know ad length will be equal to a and if i try to bisect it exactly here then i'll get a by 2 so from here till the middle point it will be a by 2 from here to here it will be a by 2 we need force into perpendicular arm perpendicular arm means from here till here so this perpendicular arms comes out to be a by 2 sin theta which has been substituted here if you have a question how does it come you need to do is try to take this theta into these small triangles here so here if this is theta then here this angle comes out to be 90 minus theta then this comes out to be theta over here similarly if this is theta you will have theta exactly on the side so if this is theta angle then you can obviously say that this is an opposite of the angle so it comes out to be a by 2 sin theta so this is a perpendicular arm length a by 2 sin theta on the side a by 2 sin theta from here till here so for both of the forces the perpendicular arm length is a by 2 sin theta so that's why we have substituted here since we are having both the forces equal to bib let us substitute their values so we get torque is equal to bib a by 2 sin theta plus the same term since we are having same term if we add we'll get 2 into the whole term so here 2 and 2 will be cancelled and we'll have torque is equal to bi ab sin theta now here a and b are nothing but length and breadth of the loop so if we multiply a and b we get the area of the loop let us substitute that value we get it to be tau is equal to bia sin theta proceeding ahead for n number of turns of the loop so if i am having n number of turns of wire then the torque will correspondingly increase so i need to write it tau is equal to n bia sin theta so here proceeding ahead let us try to write this as tau is equal to m b sin theta here m is already shown in the diagram this is m and we have already written it then what is this m let us try to proceed ahead and find it out so tau is equal to m b sin theta we have written and here m is equal to n i a n is number of loops i is current a is the area and it is called as magnetic moment of current loop or you can also say it as magnetic dipole moment proceeding ahead in the vector form this can be written as tau is equal to m cross b if you try to take m cross b then you will get to know the direction of tau so tau direction will be that is torque direction will be out of the plane of the paper proceeding ahead the direction of magnetic moment is along the normal drawn to the loop and the direction is given by right hand thumb rule so by seeing the current direction we can give the direction of magnetic moment and this is always normal to the current loop so here torque will be minimum when theta is equal to zero and uh, torque will be maximum when theta is 90 that is when the plane of the loop is parallel to the magnetic field then torque is maximum thank you students and see you in the next video lecture